Hi, I'm Andy the Kenworth Guy. Thanks for coming by the channel today. So what we're going to take a look at today is a T880 day cab. Uh, it's one of our, our light spec uh, stock units that we carry pretty much at all times. Uh, great for the spring season coming up with uh, gravel haulers. Uh, they're great in the farm application or good for city pickup and delivery type applications. So uh, without further ado, let's take a look outside and get on out there. the truck uh, so this is a 2019 t880 day cab uh, we've ordered this truck in with a 189 inch wheelbase so it's a real short guy uh, just good for bombing around town in or or good for maneuverability uh, we ordered the truck with a 13 2000 pound front axle the rear axle is 40,000 pounds and it is uh, paired up with the ag 400 l suspension so that is the uh, four bag suspension that we put on there. As you can see, steel wheels on the back uh, with 22.5 rubber. And on the front, we have the aluminum rims there with the Michelin XZE2 tires. So uh, as far as uh, the batteries, they're right in this toolbox right here. Uh, we have your fuel tanks uh, with the two inch straps. These are unpolished tanks. So this is uh, kind of the basic install. As far as the size, 110 gallon fuel tank on this side. If we are putting a wet kit on it, uh, I would suggest doing an upright behind the cab, like a 50 or 75 gallon uh, aluminum tank or steel tank. Uh, at the back here, we have a, a fifth wheel, a Holland fifth wheel. It's a 24 inch slider, uh, eight inch riser as far as the height. Uh, this is a full locking differential on the back. So four way lockers and uh, on this side here, we have your additional fuel tank. This one here is a 60 gallon, and uh, we have your 21 gallon def tank right there as well. Uh, it is a single exhaust, so we have the five inch tailpipe. It looks like it's around a 42 inch height. Uh, we also put the backup lights up high, so if you are putting a headache rack on it, uh, they're up and out of the way. Uh, your emission system is right in here, so that's where your DPF, your SCR catalyst, and all of that is. Uh, we ordered the truck with a uh, painted solid color white with the, uh, the painted mirrors. You can get those in chrome if you want. Uh, also, you can get uh, the chrome or stainless steel sun, sun visor on the exterior. This one is ordered just uh, without, so it's more of a basic, uh, basic spec. Uh, you can also get the panel down in here. It's a closeout panel. Uh, just to extend the fender down a little further and prevent any sort of spray from getting on the front side of the bumper. So uh, let's uh, open up the hood and take a look inside. It's a nice and easy hood to open up. Can get a little sticky. There are a little bit, uh, there are a few more components there that are helping keep that hood solid. So what can happen is right in here, you can get a little bit, uh, from these guys right up there if you don't have them greased enough it will stick in there so just keep that in mind to keep that uh, nice and lubricated uh, so we ordered this truck with a 455 horsepower Packard MX 13 engine it's 1650 torque uh, we've also ordered it with the factory installed boost terminals up front here your uh, fuel filter sorry if you can't hear me the engine is running so just on a side note, I don't know how the audio is right now uh, using a new microphone. But anyhow, uh, all your fluid level checks, you have your engine oil fill, your power steering, uh, sorry, your engine oil check, your oil fill, your power steering, your fuel primer pump right there, 
your washer fluid, and then your coolant up on the other side. And then of course your fuel filter. Uh, so what we've also done, I've said this before, all of the airlines terminate at the firewall. So you can see right here where all these airlines are going up into, uh, those no longer go into the dash. On the B cabs, the W900 and T800, those would go inside the dash. Uh, so when you're disengaging your diff locks and so on, your air is coming outside of the cab. Uh, whereas on a T880, it's all outside the cab. Same thing on a 680 or a 990. So the, the benefit of that is you're not gonna have any uh, air leaks inside the cab. There still are some air components going into the cab. Uh, your air seat, <coughs> your, uh, your, your uh, parking brakes, and your, um, your transmission. So just a little note about this area right up here. So let's uh, head over on the other side. So the hot side of the engine, it's pretty clean. Not a whole lot going on over here. Um, you have your coolant over here where you can fill it. Uh, this is where you have your HVAC system. So easy to change out your, uh, your cab filter. So if you are uh, in the winter time noticing it's not really blowing very much heat, uh, make sure you give this a little squeeze and check your filter inside there, make sure that it's clean. So uh, yeah, let's close up the hood and take a look inside. All right, so here we are inside the truck. Uh, we'll just kind of go across the dash like we normally do. Uh, what you get with our stock uh, T880 day cab, you get power windows and power door locks and heated mirrors and uh, power mirrors as well. So that's standard. So those mirrors are fully adjustable. You can uh, adjust them up and down and side to side. Um, as far as the, uh, the lower mirror, the convex mirror, that is a fixed mirror. So you can't adjust that one. Uh, as far as the steering wheel, what we order them with is just the standard uh, rubber steering wheel. You can get this ordered with a smart wheel if you prefer where you get uh, the radio controls and the cruise control right in the dash. Uh, your Jake brake control is right up here on the dash now. So you just pull that back and you get the Jake brake control going, showing you basically uh, as you're engaging it, it's going on and off on the dash there. <clears throat> uh, right over here, you have your turn signal stat. This puts the windshield wipers on and we'll do that. We'll clear that snow off of the windows. There we go. Um, right over here, we have your uh, your backup lights, your beacon light switch, and uh, this is to adjust your your dash uh, as well. As far as the lights, your interior dome lights, and then your exterior light test. Oh, my phone's ringing. Uh, over here, we have your parking brake for, or sorry, your trailer brake right here. Uh, your engine fan, your cruise control, set resume, your air traction control, uh, a couple spare switches, your regeneration switch, uh, air suspension dump, your power divider, your forward axle lock and your rear axle lock, uh, factory installed PTO switch, um, and then your factory installed uh, uh, air slide control right there. As far as the gauges, we order the trucks with six additional gauges. So uh, what we put on here is your turbo boost, your front and rear diff temperature, air filter, air suspension load, and your fuel filter. So those are the six that we choose. Uh, we also put the storage pocket right over here, which is ideal for installing uh, your, your wallet or a couple pens, a little notepad, you can keep that right there. And then your radio control, your radios, what we put in here is, um, your standard AM FM radio with a weather band and a USB plug and an auxiliary input jack. So it's a nice, nice setup uh, with Bluetooth as well. Uh, you have your power outlet right here. You have another one right around the corner. Your, uh, your parking brakes right there. There is a storage pocket right there as well. So that's ideal for keeping uh, other, com other things that you'd like to keep. And uh, we do order the truck with a uh, 13 speed manual transmission. As far as the pedals, uh, we'll just take a look at that. But before we go down, right here is your control for the tilt and telescopic. 
so that's a nice uh, uh, it keeps everything out off the floor so we used to have it on the floor on the B model cabs on this cab it's on the on the steering column itself so it makes for a really nice uh, uh, adjustment and then also it gives you more space on the floor and with the floor here uh, the clutch pedal here is air assisted hydraulic clutch so it is very soft uh, very easy to push in uh, your brake pedal is now suspended on this cab and then your your throttle is also suspended so you have this uh, little lever coming out of the firewall and it pivots and then you have this nice big pedal to put your boot on and uh, give you a nice uh, operation for adjusting your speed um, as far as the seating arrangements in the truck here how we order the truck we put in the Dura Supreme seat so it's a it's a heavy-duty robust cloth material with vinyl sides you do have the vinyl inset right up here and then they have the armrests uh, so the passenger seat is mounted to a toolbox so you got a little bit of storage in there so you can keep uh, some washer fluid or some extra oil uh, tubs uh, we do order it with a little pocket on the side here so you can keep a binder right now the owner's manuals are in there so you got a nice little setup right there for it and uh, looking up what we have here you have your lighting right up here it's LED all the interior lighting is LED across uh, we have three visors running across the front here and they are adjustable so you can if you get the sunlight coming right through the cracks here you can adjust it so that it covers it up entirely also it flips over to the side here and right up here is where you have uh, it connect up and it is on a magnet not on a latch so you get a, a nice uh, setup right there oh that's a pretty truck over there And then we also order the trucks with the factory installed uh, CV radio kit. So you can install your FM radio, two-way two -way radio up there, or just a regular CB radio. Uh, you may have to change the antenna if you are installing a FM two-way radio. You do have storage up above here as well on that side over there. All right, so thanks for coming by the channel today to watch this video. Uh, like I said, this is a stock T880 day cab. So we have usually one or two of these, maybe three in stock at all times. Uh, so this is a, a unit that's ready to go to work. You can put a wet kit on it and haul uh, gravel, or you can uh, use it for pulling a, a van or a deck around. Uh, just a nice little setup on this truck. Uh, if you are interested in more details, spec sheets, pricing, uh, my contact information is below on the video here. So just click on uh, show more and you can see my email, my phone number, give me a call. Uh, great truck for pulling around in the prairies here uh, if you haven't already been to my website uh, you can click up here and go to the kenworthguy.com and in that uh, you will see all of our new and used truck inventory along with uh, some of the social media stuff that i'm doing as well uh, so again thanks for coming by the channel and uh, we'll see you on the next video and as always have yourself the world's best day